The pandemic really showed us that when a crisis happens in the world, it's going to impact the workplace. But disasters happen on a national and local level too, and one company learned four valuable lessons after Hurricane Ian in 2022. I'm Anna Oaks, editor of Courts at Work, and companies have a dual mandate during a crisis. Care for your humans, and keep operations running. After supporting workers during Hurricane Ian, OnSolve confirmed four steps to support employees during a crisis. The first step, gather stakeholders from operations, supply chain, HR, IT, and communications to partner with a designated risk team. Their main question to solve for, what's the most significant risk to the safety of our employees and how will it limit their ability to work? Companies should assess common threats and those will differ depending on location and industry. After you assess those potential threats, it's time to mitigate and determine what we can do to combat each one. Perhaps you cross-train teams to ensure key processes continue or you install generators at your on-site locations. Then we take all that information and put it into a CRP, a crisis response plan that acts as an accessible, usable guide. And be sure to test the plan ahead of time to find the holes and make adjustments. This will also ensure that everyone knows their role. Lastly, keep that CRP updated quarterly to be ready for what might come. I truly hope these efforts won't be needed, but you'll be glad you were prepared. And so will your people. Thanks for watching and be sure to find more tips on the wide world of work at qz.com work.